In the previous tutorial, we covered uploading a file from an Ionic application using the HTML input type. So I'm not going to rehash what we covered in that tutorial here. I'll link to that if you want to check that one out. But in the end, what we could do is run our server and running this would create an uploads folder for us. And then we could upload files from our Ionic application to that uploads uh, folder on our Nest.js server. And we also did it with just plain Node and Express as well. So I've got the Nest.js server running now and the code we're using to submit to this server is just here. And you can see we're sending our requests over localhost uh, on port 3000. So what I can do is just uh, pick a file, click upload, and then that file is just going to be uploaded into our uploads folder here. And if you were paying attention, you might've seen over on the left here, a file was added to the uploads folder. So this is all great, but it's not the purpose of this tutorial. What we are going to focus on now is what we do if we want to now deploy this application to say iOS or Android. So we're going to have that running on an external device, but we still wanna make use of this uh, development server that we have running. Now, since it is on a different device, you just using localhost isn't going to work. So what we might do eventually is deploy this server to some production environment where we have a publicly accessible URL uh, that we could use instead of localhost. But if we are just testing the application or we're just sort of messing around in the initial stages of this application, we might want a way to use this server running on localhost from the application when it is running on our phone. Now, fortunately, this is actually quite easy to do. And we're going to just run through doing that now. So I'm going to jump over into the Ionic application for this example. And in order for this to work, you will need to make sure you have the native run package installed. So if you haven't installed that already, you'll need to run npm install dash g native run. And then you'll just need to run the capacitor command to run the application uh, with live reload. So what we're going to do is go through an example with Android. So in that case, I would run ionic cap run Android dash L dash dash external. So I'm just gonna move this terminal up a little bit so we can see the messages that are going to come out because they, they will be important. So I'll run that now. So this is just going to handle uh, building the application, copying the assets to our capacitor project. In this case, our native Android project. Okay, so if you watch the messages that are popping up on screen now, you'll see this little output here. It says development server running, and it has the IP address and port that the application is running on. So in this case, it is the, the Ionic application is running on port 8101. Uh, usually that would be 8100, but I have another Ionic application running in the background. But the important thing here is to make note of this external IP address. You'll see here that it says 192.168.0.105. Now we're going to be able to use that IP address to access our local host server externally when the application is running on our device. So what I'm going to do for now is just leave this code as is. We're gonna stick with just the local host for now. And we're going to try and upload a file from the Android device to our server. It's not going to work because we're using local host, but we'll try it. And then we'll modify the code to use this external IP address instead. So we have our live development ser server running now so we can make changes live as, as it's running on the phone. Uh, this command will also open up uh, Android Studio for us and so then we can just run our application from here. So I'll run that now on my Google Pixel device. So all I need to do here is just hit the play button and whilst we wait for that to run I'm just going to jump back to the server code now. So we're gonna watch what happens here and we're going to try and upload another file. So just keep an eye on this uploads folder. Okay, so I have the application running now. So I'm just going to try and select a file to upload. So I'm just gonna choose one of uh, the random screenshots here and hit the upload button. And to no surprise, we're not seeing anything happen in the uploads folder here. And we still just have the single file before that we uh, uploaded uh, locally. So now we're gonna make a little change. So let's just jump back into here again and make note of that external IP address. So what we wanna do is just grab that IP address. We don't need the port where the Ionic application is running, that's not relevant to us. And what we're going to do is just modify this code 
to use that instead of localhost. So I'm going to set up another uh, variable here. We'll just call this external server URL. And that's going to be HTTP, then the IP address, and then the port that the server is running on. So in this case, it's 3000, but that may depend on what exactly you are doing. And then just the normal uh, route for that upload, which is forward slash photos, forward slash upload. And then we'll also make sure that we are using that URL in our post request. So I'll save that. That should all live reload on the application. And again, let's jump back to the server and keep an eye on that uploads folder again. So I'm just going to choose another file, uh, hit the upload button, and you probably saw that little uh, debug message flash on screen there. And we can also see that that file was uploaded to the uploads folder. Uh, even though the application is running uh, separately on an Android device that's connected to the computer. Now, it's not even important that this is connected to the computer via USB with USB debugging enabled. Uh, if I unplugged it, it would also work. Uh, the important thing is that it's running on the same Wi-Fi network in order for this to work. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, uh, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.